This is the moment that Gotenks knew he fucked up. Prepare yourself, Dan Sam. Smash that like button and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you never miss a video. For those of you guys who live in the US, happy 4th of July. Today I have the latest chapter of Goku Trains Khalifla, where we have Kefla going up against Gotenks. So let's go ahead and jump right in from the last video. Now, if you have not seen the last video, I'm gonna have a link to it in the description below and the top comment. That way you are completely caught up with the story thus far. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Kaba wakes up with no battle damage and he sits up right away and feels a strength, a power that he has not felt before. In the next panel, we see Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks attacking Kefla and Kefla easily blocking it. And it seems that Gotenks not only has some battle damage to him, but he looks exasperated like he's been fighting for a while and not getting anywhere. And Kefla, how easily she's dodging this and blocking this, it seems that the power scaling again for this Dragon Ball fan manga is completely on point. I know I asked you guys yesterday the question, who would win in a fight? Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks versus Super Saiyan Kefla. And I asked you guys because I wanted to know your thoughts on the situation and the battle and exactly what your reasoning behind your decision was. But if I had to give you guys my decision, it would obviously be Kefla because Kefla went up against not only Ultra Instinct, but she went up against Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, and she ended up knocking out Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who actually was damage but at the same time she ended up doing it regardless so she is an extremely powerful fighter with the total expertise of Khalifla and the raw power potential of Kale magnified with the Batara earrings. I think that Vado said that it was like 10 times the amount of power. So yeah, she is a force to be reckoned with and right now she is completely dominating this fight against Gotenks. Kaba joins the others only to be surprised that the power that he felt earlier was not just Kefla who he is actually surprised to see Kefla there. Remember he passed out when it was only Khalifla but he's also surprised to see Super Saiyan 3 go tanks but on top of that he is more surprised that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks power is beyond anything that he could have imagined that he could even feel because it is getting close to that Kefla power it is rising so Gotenks right now is the all-star of the fight even though he is losing and they are about to explain why because Kaba did not feel this rising strength from Gotenks when he was fighting him. And Piccolo explains that it is because Kaba was the opponent at the time. When he was fighting Gotenks, he couldn't feel that rising strength because he was doing everything he could to not only do some damage, but to survive, which obviously Kaba didn't. So Kaba did not feel this hidden rising strength that Gotenks is portraying right now. And Kaba's a little confused, he doesn't understand why that is. And I'll be honest, the first time I read this, I was a little confused as to what was being explained because normally in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, or even the mangas or the fan mangas, there's just a fight and boom, 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 done. That's basically it. But this Dragon Ball fan manga by DBZA goes a little bit more into detail as to why things are certain ways, who is getting the advantage and why, explaining the fight a little bit deeper and the emotional fitness of both of the combatants and exactly what is going on through their heads during the fights. That that's the reason that this is top tier Dragon Ball fan manga quality right here. Piccolo says that he really didn't get a good look at the fight during the Tournament of Power, but during the Tournament of Power, it seemed like Kefla overwhelmed Super Saiyan God completely, even fighting against Super Saiyan Blue and getting past that, only to fight against Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, where Goku basically was using up all his stamina and putting a huge strain on his body with the Kaioken, 
and Kefla defeated that as well, going into her fight with Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. Meaning that the fusion itself was extremely powerful, but as Vegeta puts it, there is also this rapid growth element that is going on, not only with just the fusions, but with Saiyans as well, but the fusion specifically in this context, because what they're basically saying or alluding to here is that with both these warriors fused together, the experience that they're both getting throughout the fights is doubled essentially there's two people combined and if they're saiyans that is completely magnified their rapid growth and at the end the rapid growth overwhelmed the not fused characters and not fused beings and that kept going on and on that is the secret the advantage to the fusions goku says there are various stimulations motivations and different stimuli that uplifts the characters and the fusion characters making them more powerful Powerful, making them have more strength and the fact that they are Saiyans like I was saying earlier makes it so that they can bring up more and more unfathomable power if their opponent is a serious sophisticated fighter if their opponent is a good fight so if their opponent is a good fight the fusion characters will get that boost and that just seems like what happened with Gogeta versus Broly. I mean, yes, Gogeta was way stronger than Broly at the time, like he was on a different level. But at the same time, it seemed like every time Broly went up in power, Gogeta went up in power. And that is the secret to the fusions. Unless they disintegrate because of the time limit, or they use too much of the fusion power, and then they just separate, they are almost unstoppable. But here we have a unique case where we have two fusions facing against each other. So finding out which one is going to win is up to the fusion character and how determined they are to win and how much power they have on the onset. So you can't count Gotenks out because Gotenks is no exception to this rule. He is a Saiyan, he is a fusion, his power can still rise and rise and rise to try to meet the power of his opponent Kefla and in this moment Gotenks finally punches Kefla right in the face. Piccolo explains further that Gotenks wasn't even being fully serious when he was fighting against the demon Boo. He was playing, he was half fighting, he was just trying to have a good time. But in this instance, this is the most focused that Piccolo has ever seen Gotenks at fighting. And Piccolo thanks Kefla for allowing him to witness Gotenks basically at full power and still rising. Vegeta says that it is up to whoever has a mindset of a winner that is going to determine the outcome of this particular battle. Gotenks has finally struck Kefla and Piccolo says now that he's gotten a taste of it that he's hit her once and gotten past her defense his power will gauge to that level because his power will rise to try to meet Kefla's power which is an interesting way to close the gap of power scaling between Gotenks and Kefla where before I would say Kefla will win 100% but if Gotenks keeps fighting Kefla and his power keeps rising to meet that level who the fuck knows? Goku has the final words. If the one in front of you is beyond your limits, and you will do anything you can to reach those limits and break them, then the difference in power does not matter. But even though Gotenks is getting a boost in strength from fighting Kefla, Kefla is in a better position because all she is thinking of right now is, I can't lose. And that is the end of today's chapter. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think is going to be the outcome of this fight. And I will have another Kefla video for you guys tomorrow. Make sure you stick here, 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. And if you made it to this point in the video, you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Make sure to drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video. Today, I'm going to be responding to lemon soft studios kefla even if you go to level three you're gonna lose gotenks goes to level three serious gotenks wanna bet 
Hashtag end of video squad. Also, Blackscape, I admit Kefla may have been able to go up against Blue Goku, but you have to keep in mind that the only does the fusion dance combine their powers. This significantly magnified. So I think what he meant to say is not only does the fusion dance combine their powers, but it magnifies them. So does the Potara fusion though. That's what Gogeta said himself, and so did Vados about the Potara earrings. So there might be a chance Gotenks could take her down at level 3, because that form increases it by so much combined with the power of fusion power, it could be stronger than Kefla's power. It's crazy because he dropped this comment on yesterday's video and had no idea how today's video was going to be. So yeah, it seems that Gotenks may have a chance if he can continuously fight Kefla before the fusion runs out, he may be able to kind of gauge and close that gap between their powers and get even closer to the level that Kefla is right now. But I highly doubt it because again, the fusion should be ending soon and he's already beat up and worn out. But thank you so much for your comment, Lemon. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.